Okay. Oh. You're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will call the August 14th for zoning and appeals meeting to order. Um, Billy, if you'll say the prayer for us, right. and Jackie will say the pledge. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just uh, thank you for another day, Lord, uh, uh, be in your presence. And uh, Father, we just thank you for everything you've given us. Father, we just uh, lift up our city and our country and just uh, be with our leaders and give them, give them the right direction to lead uh, our country and our city, Lord. And just uh, be with this committee tonight. Give us guidance for a uh, decision we come up with and uh, just give us a good week. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, um, can I get an approval of the agenda? Make a motion we approve the agenda for tonight. I second. All in favor? Uh -huh. Um, can I get an approval or correction of the minute? Make a motion we approve the corrected date for the minutes from the uh it said October twenty-fourth, twenty twenty two. Mm-hmm. All in favor? Uh -huh. Okay. The minutes are approved. Okay, the next item, conditional use permit request. And Chris, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Well, the applicant, John Colin, has requested a conditional use permit for the property located at 1646 North Main Street. The property further is identified as tax map 26, parcel 010.00, and legally recorded the Murray County Register of Deeds Office. The purpose of this request is to construct a 100, 720 square foot detached accessory structure with metal cladding. And the applicant is in the audience if you have questions. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Please? Well, maybe you can just tell us a little bit about his project. I don't know if I have any well, questions for him. Yeah, mm -hmm. right here. Take your name, I guess. Um, I'm Austin John. I'm the property owner at 1646. Um, I'm looking to construct a 24 by 30 metal building, primarily for organization, storage, uh, just kind of keep everything nice and tidy, keep my uh, vehicle out of the uh, sun. I have a 16 foot trailer, utility trailer I'd like to keep under roof as well. Um, beyond that, and may later turn into like a woodworking hobby shop but not something that I'm looking into at this time, mainly in organization. Okay. Got maybe a couple of questions for Chris, just to clarify a couple of things, or maybe for both of you, why the setbacks are okay. It's it's the right distance off the back of the house, the side lots, the rear of the lot. Yes, that's correct. Everything, and, everything's good with that. In the packet I put uh, the bulk reg regulations, it meets and exceeds the bulk reg regulations from the uh, zoning ordinance. And, it, and it's good on the general standards with the, the density parking, open space. I know that was one of your things. Down yes, there. that is correct. So section 10.3A6, everything's okay with that? 10.8B. 10.8B is what he's asking for. Right, and 10.3A6. Mm -hmm. It uh, meets and exceeds bulk standards for the zoning so, so it doesn't meet 10, 3, A6, or does? That I'll, I'll have to look back, but but these are the two that I found that pertain to. Right, but he's, he's only asking for a variance from one of them in the paperwork. So, so we need to make okay. sure that, that it meets 10, 3, A6, and I think it does. I mean, it's just the... Together with principal use or structure, not violate the bulk density parking, landscape, or open space standards of this ordinance, except the variance may be granted 
So we, we, I would assume it meets that. So it doesn't need a variance from that. That would be like lot coverage and that kind of stuff. That, Correct. Okay. The minimum size lot is 18,000 square feet. Minimum width is 90. Front right. yard setbacks 30. Yeah, I think he's almost on 30,000 square feet. So right. Yeah. Point yeah. Nine three. So 10.386 shouldn't be a problem. Correct. He won't be done. Okay. After doing the calculations on the right. size of the house, adding in the accessory structure, he was still well below the bulk. And it is the only accessory structure, right? There's no other. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anyone that visited the site, so uh, not unless you was real quick. <laughs> Those are the only questions I had, Lisa. Okay. Um, and the coloring is going to match. I'm looking to match the house. Okay. So um, the house is like a medium gray. There's okay. the medium gray colors. Um, there's a couple of different suppliers I've talked to, same building layout. Okay. Um, I want to do a medium gray matching the house, maybe either a black or like my gutters on the house are a burnt bronze. Mm -hmm. I'll match that coloring and just try to keep it all the same. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions? Like a motion or... Yeah, I'll make a motion that, that we approve BZA-0814-2023 with the added caveat that it has to be medium gray siding. Okay. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, we have any old business? Uh, no. New business? New business. I think we need a vice chair. We need. We need to. We need to go back and look at that. I yeah. think Pam Johnston was vice chair. Yes, she was. I, I, we need to verify that for the, the next yeah. meeting or whenever, just to make sure. But I, yeah. I think that was I think the case. That was the case. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to have a vice chair. Sure. Okay. And I do have a another application for a request for a metal clad building that I'll be sending invitations out, see what times work for you, and uh, we'll go through this again. So at that point, maybe we can uh, elect a vice chair. chair if we need one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain we, we do. Yeah, she was yeah. 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 So, Okay. That way we put it the on there, add that onto the agenda. agenda. So. Um, okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Make a motion, we adjourn. Second. All right. It is adjourned. <laughs>